Hey, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, and backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. All right, let's say you've got your backpack ready, you've got your food, you've got your snacks, you've got your 10 essentials. All you need now is your spotting scope. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what it says. Spotting scope. Why? Believe it or not, a spotting scope can actually make for a pretty cool piece of gear if you're on some epic day hike or car camping trip. It might actually be worth it to carry one of these with you, as I will show you in a minute, because if you're somewhere with great views, you can get even greater views if you can get up close to some of the features you came to see. Now this is the Sviboni SV28. It's a 25 to 75 power spotting scope with a 70 millimeter lens. It is advertised as a beginner spotting scope and I am definitely a beginner. So please, if you are a long distance hunter or a shooter or someone who really needs like incredibly great optics in order to do the fine detail work that you do, this is not for you. But this is a great scope for somebody like me who's a weekend warrior and who wants to be out in the field and just get some closer up images of wildlife or land features and who isn't really interested in investing four digits in a top of the line spotting scope for the rare occasions that I would use it. Now there are a couple of features about this particular scope that even as a beginner scope make it attractive to someone like me who is probably going to be carrying it around in a backpack if I'm using it. And the first one is the weight of the scope. It only comes in at 27 ounces, and if you add on the tripod that comes with it, it's 39 ounces. So for a smaller weight penalty than a one liter bottle of water, you can bring the spotting scope out, and for not much more, you get the tripod too. Now I have used the scope with the included tripod, but I've also swapped it out for my Photo Pro lightweight extendable tripod, and the Photo Pro worked as well. So if you have a favorite tripod that you're already using, it's no problem to just screw this on because it takes a standard tripod screw. The other thing that I like about the SV28 is that it is IP65 rated, and what that means is that it is 100% protected from dust particles, and it will withstand low power water jets, so you can take this out in the rain and it's not going to be a problem. This Fiboni SV28 comes with a nice carry case, and it has a divider in here in case you have something else that you want to put in here but you don't want it banging up against the tripod. And last but not least, it gives you, not a phone, but a phone adapter. This is a universal adapter. It just slides onto the phone. And what you do with this is you slip the end over the eyepiece and then the phone can go in there and you can use it to take pictures through the scope. It's only $60 for all of that. Now, as you will see, I struggled a bit with this adapter. It comes with instructions, but no pictures showing you how to use it. It's fairly obvious how it works, but getting the camera lined up on the scope was difficult. The whole setup is just a little awkward. I had a tough time getting this to work, although I eventually did get a couple pretty cool shots. Please do not judge the quality of the scope optics on the quality of the pictures. I just have a cheap phone. It doesn't take fantastic pictures to begin with. And I was on a hike with some other people. I didn't really feel like spending a lot of time getting everything dialed in perfectly. All right, so now I'm gonna take you with me on the trip that I took up to Yosemite to check out this scope in action. If you saw my video on how I plan a hike, it's that hike that I actually took this out for its inaugural journey. I carried the scope and the tripod the whole time. I did not have really any trouble with the weight at all. It rode just fine. I just stuffed it in the backpack. I wasn't even using the lens covers. I mean, I really treated it pretty poorly. It came out just fine. Again, because of my personal phone, I didn't really manage to get a lot of fantastic pictures, but the views were amazing. And I even got to watch a helicopter rescue of some climbers on El Capitan, and this was from clear across the valley. In addition to the close-ups of El Capitan, I also got to see Half Dome from Sentinel Dome and some other locations. 
I have had a great time with the scope. My son and I have used it looking around the neighborhood. I was able to look into the parking lot across from my office and whether I had the license right up against this edge or that edge, it was clear enough and I was able to read the signs. I mean, the images aren't gonna look like you shot them with a Leica, but they look just fine, especially for like phone photography and that kind of thing. All I can say is I was perfectly happy with it. it met my expectations, it met my needs, and for 60 bucks, that's pretty impressive. So although it is a beginner scope, I am a fan of this Fiboni SV28, and in my estimation, if you just want something that is fairly lightweight, fairly good quality, that you can just throw in the backpack and not worry about, this is a good option. I hope this video has been informative to you. I hope you like it. I hope you're a subscriber. If not, you can take care of that stuff down there. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Thanks for watching.